The Foolish Disciples One day a sage and his students were going to travel to another village. The sage told his students to bring a bullock cart and put their things into it. The students obeyed their teacher and did as they were told. Soon they started their journey. After traveling for some time, the sage felt tired and sleepy due to his old age. He told his students to keep an eye on the things so that they don't slip out of the cart. The students replied yes sir and the sage fell asleep. After a few minutes, the cart bumped into a stone. As a result, the vessel that contained the holy water fell out of the cart. The students saw that vessel when it was falling out of the cart, but did nothing. After some time when the sage awoke, he asked the students, is everything okay? The students replied, everything is okay, but the vessel that contains the holy water fell out of the cart. Hearing this, the sage was angry with the students. The students replied, you told us to only look at the things which were falling out of the cart. The sage replied, you all are foolish and don't have any common sense. When the vessel fell off, you should have picked it up. The students replied, you didn't say this earlier. The sage said, now. Listen, whatever things you see falling out of the cart, pick them up and put them back into the cart. The students understood and again the sage dozed off. On their way forward one of the students saw bullock dung falling on the ground. One of the students got out of the cart and picked up the dung and threw it back into the cart. The dung fell into the sage's face and he woke up with a shock. After waking up the sage shouted, What on earth is this? The students replied, Sir, why are you cross with us? We only obeyed your order to pick up the things that have fallen and put them back into the cart. The sage was annoyed with his students. He got an idea and wrote the name of all the things which were there in the cart and gave it to the students and said, Look if any of the articles given in the list slips down, you must pick them up. The students understood and the sage fell asleep again. They moved on and now the bullock had to climb up a hill. As the bullock started to climb up the hill the sage slipped and fell out of the cart. He woke up and found himself drowning in the river. He started shouting for help. The students immediately took out the paper in which the name of the things were written and searched the name of the sage. However, they did not find his name. But since they loved their master, they stopped the cart and jumped into the river to save the sage. After coming out of the river he angrily asked the students, Why did you not save me and pick me up? The students replied, We were only obeying your orders and your name was not on the list. Since, you instructed us to pick up the things which were only there on the list. The sage said, Obeyed me? You have not even tried to understand what I have been trying to tell. Instead, you have just been following my words without thinking. Moral, you not only have to follow the orders but also think about what is wrong and what is right. Learning, we must not be so foolish that we only obey orders but also think and then take action. Many people only do what they are said to do but thinking is very important. Without thinking you will be called foolish.